and everything else in your life will just seem beautiful when you're living inside shit. Of course. <laughs> Minus 0.5 for <laughs> being <laughs> arguing <laughs> with your. <laughs> yeah, because the only thing stopping people from cheating is the smell of the bar. Oh, we're the shitty team. Uh, it's me, Pragya Vijay, the shit officer here. So when people can use people, why can't we use condom? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Selling the Unsellable, where we have a team from Masters Union uh, who are given an unsellable product. They have to pitch it to me and the audience here, this lovely audience, who is not forced to be here. Uh, if, uh, if they lose, they learn a valuable lesson that business is not just about a shiny spreadsheet or numbumbo jumbo. It's, uh, it's about on ground experience. And if they win, they get to do the same thing to me by giving me an unsellable product so they can get sweet, sweet revenge. So let's see the first team. Hey guys, we are team sab dua dua hai. So we've all heard of, you know, the standard solution, air purify this thing. But what exactly is air purifying doing for you? Okay, it's cleaning the air inside your surroundings, you know, inside within the walls of your house. If you want to experience the, the raw air that's right there the next day after Diwali, you can set it to the maximum limit. Nice. Or if you're just thinking, you know what, maybe around that February time when it's still going away, and I'm feeling a little bit nostalgic, then maybe just set this setting a little bit lower. We all have that annoying NRI friend who's just gone to the States. A lot of us are studying here. But some of our friends have gone to the States and they'll come back with that stupid accent as well, which really drives us nuts. This is the perfect gift for them. If you miss India so much, this is an easy product. It weighs under 5 kgs. Just carry it in a suitcase. Hey. And now we're open for pre-order. Thank you so much. Thank you. Amazing. Excellent time management and very funny jokes. So I, out of five, I think it's a strong four. Anyone else? Four? Everyone's saying four? Okay, four, four, eight. Uh, incredible score, congratulations. Hi, now we have the next team. Hello everyone, we are team Sing Away. My name is Amana Garwal. And I'm Stuti. The product that we are pitching today is a body odor perfumes. And the name of a luxury intimate brand is Bu Perfumes, Har Aisaas Me Bu. The opportunity today, or uh, the target market of us is 80% of the people are sentimental in nature. That is, if they want to smell the uh, order, order of their partners even when they're not around, every day 4 to 10 couples break up and 90% of them still want to smell the order of their ex-partners. 70% of the people bathe regularly and thus lose their body odors. And 80% of the women in the world sleep well due to the body order of their partners. 80%? <laughs> Wow, okay. So be it from the body, hair, follicles and the sweaty glands of your boo, it is scientifically proven to smell exactly like your boo. And we come in three special fragrance variants. That is the smelly feet, sweaty chest and of course the poopy butt. Wow. Looking at our competitors, it is a very competitive market by the way guys. We have of course the sweaty gym partner who will take up the extra weights just to impress you. And of course the farting colleague at the next desk or the stink stinky underarms of the uncle is right in front of the local chain. You can always reminisce your boo whenever they are not around and that will in turn help you not to cheat because you're constantly thinking of them by smelling that. So that's all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay guys, it, it's, it was so well done that I was like, hey, this should be produced. It was so convincing. Also, if 80% of women need <laughs> My partner, so are you telling single women in the world don't sleep? <laughs> and I thought the cheating thing also, yeah, because the only thing <laughs> stopping people from cheating is the smell of the bar. <laughs> it's like they are about to enter the hotel room. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, we did our own. What does that mean? What is your source? Trust me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. I'll give this a 4.5. Right. Oh. So, guys. <laughs> hey, yeah. 4? 4.5? 4. 4. 4. 4. 5. 4. So, if I say 4, is even okay at 4? Hey, they were 4.5. Yeah, they were 4.5 also. <laughs> Minus 0.5 for <laughs> being <laughs> arguing <laughs> with <Yeah. laughs> judge. So, Four, we'll go with four. So 4.5, 8.5.
Thank yeah. you. Eight point. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay, we have our next team. Uh, please introduce yourself and your team name. Hey guys, we've saved the best for the last, hopefully. Uh, we're the shitty team. Uh, it's me, Pragya Veja, the shit officer here, and Janvi. Roy, who's a very good friend of mine. <laughs> what? What's going on? <laughs> First of all, passive aggressive. <laughs> we, uh, we're a team who's extremely passionate about shit. Oh. So hence the name. Okay. So once upon a time, two MBA students set out on a journey to discover a product like never before. After years of hard work and research and development, we came up that pigeons are actually taking over the world through their shit. That's true. The problem is that they've managed to cage the common man in their homes, ripping us all exactly. off views and wins, guys. Come on. We are losing $3 billion of space. We paid so much for that super built-up area and it's all getting lost. 70% of India's balconies are covered with shit. 70% is true. <laughs> no matter how high you go, guys, <laughs> pigeon shit will follow. So we just like put on our thinking gap and we came up with pigeon shit styles. Oh. Drop it like it's hot, guys. So we, we like to say it as it is. And that's the name of our brand. So it's basically this way you will never need to clean your balconies. Whenever pigeons will come and poop, it'll just add on to the aesthetic. And like, look around, who wants plain tiles when you can have shitty tiles? Nice. The work of so, art. There's no headache of cleaning. And everything else in your life will just seem beautiful when you're living inside shit. <laughs> of course. <laughs> exactly. So we are just just 60% more expensive than the regular price <laughs> because we make sure to get the premium food. So pigeon poop might just do wonders. I think we need this, and <laughs> we need this, and also just 60% more expensive. Organic. It's a steal. Boss, we are, we get, like, we don't use loose shit or too hard shit. Okay. You know it has to be the right texture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we are not experts. I thought this is a near perfect fit. Uh, great. Uh, I would give it a 4.5 as well. And, uh, guys? Five! Five! <laughs> five. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> we have got a 9.5. Congratulations. Thank you very much. So the scores are in, and guess who won? The shitty team with 9.5. Uh, Pragya and Janvi have done an excellent job. Uh, so the winning team gets to give me a product to sell, and uh, unlike them, I have had no time to prepare, and I don't have a slideshow. All I have is my face. Let's do it. I will try to sell. Um, cook. My time starts, sir. Used condom, ne? Fuck. This is hard. Even in the past, we have used resources like no level. Like we used fossil fuels, we used ev like everything. Like there was no tomorrow, like everything's unlimited. But the world is not unlimited. Water's running out, fuel is running out, everything's running out. You know what? The one thing that's really running out? Condom. We have manufactured way too much condom. It's showing up everywhere. You jump into any uh, lake or river in Mumbai, what do you find? Condoms and Mumbaikers. One of them you'll find. <laughs> Condoms, Mumbaikers, Mumbaikers wear a condom. You don't know. So we want to take back the oceans, take back the fishes, choking on condoms. So we rescue fishes, remove the use. So luckily, nature cleans the condom for us. So the fish unfortunately swallows it. So the fish eats the condom, it clears it through its system. We take out the clean condom, repackage it, and sell it back to you. A uh, lot of our customers said, hey, what if the condom is damaged? I tell them, shut up. <laughs> None of your business, that's our business. <laughs> we'll figure it out. This is how I learned to answer questions from the last three. <laughs> last three comments. So, when people can use people, why can't we use condoms? <laughs> That's about it. So, uh, a score out of 10 games. 
Ali, when your team give me score out of five? Two scores. Four. Give four point five. Four point five. Four point five. Oh, nine point five. Thank you. Hi guys, you must have reached the end of this video. If you like this video, uh, good for you. <laughs> That's all. Bye. <laughs> you, so, well, which is the first one you want me to do? Use condoms? Of course, the guys. <laughs> HR department is saying use condoms. Okay, very nice. <laughs>